Yeah, good morning, everyone. Welcome to one and all for this session. As you all know, every month on Saturday, we are giving multi arts target 100 session. As part of that, we have given sessions on communication skills, health management, stress management, adaptability, so on. And now I am inviting on behalf, behalf of multi arts, he's for ready, sir, to give you a webinar on sales course. Welcome, sir. Yeah, thanks, Gayatri. Thanks a lot. And hope I can start now, right? Uh, so do we need to wait some more minutes? Still looks like uh, <clears throat> team is joining. Yeah, OK. Sir. Yeah, we'll wait two more minutes, and then we can start, uh, Gayatri. Yeah, OK. Sir. Yeah, sure. Okay, I think uh, we can start now. Uh, hope everyone is able to hear me. If not, please try to uh, stop me if you are uh, seeing any echoes or audio issues or anything. Okay. Your okay. audience. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. And let's get started. So, good morning, everyone. So, today topic is like you know Salesforce technical webinar. Like, let's talk about what is Salesforce and how this application has been built right and by using cloud computing and uh, how what are the things will be there within this it's completely technical webinar session today uh, so before going to start that right uh, by any chance anyone here about the salesforce technology it is like you know in the market very hard right uh, everywhere we see salesforce Salesforce. what is salesforce what is this application and all we can discuss um like you know if anyone of you heard if anyone has to know what is salesforce can you please unmute yourself and speak anyone please whatever you know you just say that's it even if it is wrong also uh, fine. Hi. Uh, my name is monica i don't have an idea but i came to know like j uh, salesforce is depending on java uh, framework java platform so i want to know more about salesforce sure monica i will try to help you out uh, thank you for your response and i'm expecting others also similar answers Even if it is wrong, also I'm okay. I will try to help you out what is Salesforce today. Can I get it something, some response from Hari Gangas <clears throat> and that grace me, right? Hi, sir. Uh, I think it's uh, the trending thing uh, happening. I mean, Salesforce is the present uh, booming one. Uh, we are having some Salesforce uh, admin and uh, development, uh, I think. In the development mm -hmm. side, we'll be having the uh, coding part. But it's, uh, I don't know, uh, the <clears throat> actually, I don't know. So that's why I'm attending this one. 
Sure, Ganga. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I will help you out. And what you said is absolutely correct, right? Okay. We'll we'll talk about in detail today. Okay. okay. Yeah, Hari, can you go ahead? Actually, I just know the name only. I am okay. a test coach, but, but okay, I got the link. I, I thought it will be useful. That is the reason I joined. <clears throat> yes. Okay, Hari, I will try to help you out. Okay. Any other, anyone can able to, I can give you one more minute. If anyone wants to speak, unmute yourself and speak loud. Okay. If not, then I can move on. Okay. So let's get started here. So I just want to introduce myself. Okay. So my name is Ishwar Reddy. And I have uh, 10 years of experience in moral IT and within Salesforce. And so far I have 15 Salesforce certification and I'm working as a technical architect in one of the MNC company, right? And uh, yes, initially I started as a developer and then senior developer and then team lead and then technical architect now. So I can say, fourth stage as a like you know my roles and responsibilities are in within salesforce right so as soon as we get the requirements from the customer right uh, we'll provide that high level and low level design uh, to developers then developers can work on ground level and they will build based on the business requirement so i usually interact with business team and get the requirement, provide the solutions to the developers, they will work on that in the ground level. So that's my role as per my position in one of the company, okay? And let's talk about for today's topics, right? So this Salesforce, has, this Salesforce application has been built by using cloud computing, okay? Let's talk about first what is cloud computing and then what is Salesforce and complete Technically, what all things are involved? As, as Ganga said, right? Um, there is involved admin and development, right? What all things comes under admin, and what all things comes under development? That's we can talk about today. These three topics we are going to cover as per our uh, scheduled time. Okay. So, by any chance, anyone knows what is cloud computing? Everywhere we are hearing about that cloud, cloud, cloud in the market, right? what what exactly cloud computing can anyone if we are having a small amount of data we will be storing in database if you're having large amount we'll be dealing with this uh, cloud computing topic i think mm -hmm. data security okay fair enough valid point okay you can use from you can use anywhere from anywhere cloud means there is no particular laptop is not required from cloud you can use all the things right right you're right yeah. Yeah. thank you thanks Prasad. thanks for valuable answers okay let's move on let's see what exactly this cloud computing right <clears throat> So usually, right, this cloud computing basically used to store and use, manage, and process the data from remote servers instead of local servers, right? So that's why this is very high demand in the market. And also, <clears throat> cloud computing is having mainly three services. One is infrastructure as a service. Another one is platform <clears throat> platform as a service and the third one is software as a service so we used to call as iaas infrastructure as a service eaas platform as a service 
S A A S Software as a Service. These three services are mainly having for cloud computing. What does these three services will do? Right. First, infrastructure as a service. Right. This is basically deals with all the servers by using this service, like a build, like Amazon Web Services, right, um, and any any other server related stuff by using cloud computing infrastructure as a service they used and build that application okay and platform as a service right another service what that is what does it use right so by using this service as ganga or monica said right in salesforce we have coding right that code has been built force.com platform by using platform as a service by using this service we are able to write force.com platform code in the salesforce software as a service right by using this this is like you know admin concepts all the admin concepts whatever salesforce having right these concepts using by using software as a service this service used to build all out of the box functionalities all admin configuration related stuff has been built by using software as a service okay this salesforce used two services from cloud computing one is platform as a service software as a service platform as a service is used for like a coding purpose post.com platform and software as a you know service is used for uh, all admin related stuff for salesforce okay so basically cloud computing is having three services infrastructure as a service that is not used being used here in salesforce and the platform as a service and the software as a service used for salesforce applications to build okay this is what brief about cloud computing and uh, let's moving on to salesforce right <clears throat> what is salesforce right basically salesforce is a crm based application crm is nothing but customer relationship management right so what kind of applications can be built by using salesforce right we can build like you know uh, we have basically in salesforce we have multiple clouds one is sales cloud service cloud marketing cloud community cloud right and financial cloud health cloud commerce cloud these are the various clouds are available in salesforce how we are going to leverage these different clouds let's say you are having something sales related stuff sales related stuff means what if you are trying to purchase one of the product right then we can use within salesforce we can use sales cloud right so let's say how we are going to use by using sales cloud is you are planning to purchase one of the mobile like a iphone <clears throat> right so while purchasing you supposed to give your all in, in inputs right like for example your name contact details and address all the stuff right so that what they are going to do in salesforce we have account related object in that we are going like you know as soon as you give information that they supposed to be enter all the information like your name address mobile number email id all the stuff and related the product which product you purchased you purchased iphone let's say iphone right that iphone related information they are going to be capture all the stuff right by using sales cloud all sales related stuff they are going to be purchased and they are going to be store the data your your data okay and service cloud right by using service clouds what kind of applications can be built in salesforce is mainly for call centers call centers uh, uh, call centers can be used and uh, also can be used like you know um, let's say in call center application i will give you one of the scenario let's say you purchase so and so day iphone and later on you are using and you are facing some challenges with that phone right what you will do you will reach out to call center you will reach out to call center to create a case or you, you supposed to be report your problem right so then um you as soon as you call right um and uh, as soon as you provide your unique identifier number like uh, uh, your mobile number or your name or something 
as soon as you provide to that uh, uh, call center people they will immediately search with your mobile number or your name as soon as they search with that uh, the account details they will try to find out and then they will ask you the problem what you are facing the problem with that let's say you are uh, facing some problem with like uh, your speaker is not working or something accessory issues or different different issues whatever the issue right for that they are going to be track that information there is a object called case in the case object they are going to be track all the information and then as soon as they complete the capturing information as and this if they try to save the case record right they will provide one reference number that is called case number in salesforce right so uh, they uh, like you know as soon as they create the case they will start investigating and what is the issues all the stuff right so these kind of applications can be used um, service cloud and community cloud i said one more right community clouds are best example i can give you the western union accounts we are keep seeing right um so even though even local local uh, towns also we can see multiple western union centers right so uh, multiple centers are there if they wanted to access western union all the stuff right what they can do uh, they can provide very limited access to them to access only related money transfer or any other stuff right so for that Uh, they usually build all the com by using community cloud they are going to build all the related stuff right so basically uh, community cloud can be used by external users like con kind of uh, temporary or ex uh, like uh, um limited uh, set of users only can be used so that so that can be used community cloud only okay i'm going more uh, maybe you guys can be confused i will come back okay so far we covered sales service and community cloud what kind of application can be built by using these clouds right um, i can pass something here uh, so far any questions anything uh, like uh, very high level i explained if you have any questions let me know i will try to answer it, and then we can move on further no sir it's clear uh others okay so basically right uh, different clouds we have by using these kind of application i'm trying to explain that let on we'll see how we are going to be configured and what kind of uh, components can be configured all the stuff i will try to explain okay and marketing cloud right <clears throat> so marketing cloud by using this right uh, uh, to do publicity of the product or something to uh, you know uh, can do that email triggering all the other stuff uh, uh, to do something publicity of your product right they will keep send emails all uh, follow up i'm not much familiar marketing cloud but they basically do by using marketing cloud uh, send emails all the stuff tracking information that only they will try to use it on the marketing cloud okay and i said commerce cloud commerce by using commerce cloud can be built like you know kind of uh, uh, you guys familiar with uh, amazon right amazon website can see all the different different products similarly can build by using salesforce commerce cloud also can be built that kind of applications as well okay so this is what very high level and also we have many futures in salesforce automatic lead conversions conversions also let's say um uh, let's say um we are planning to purchase one of the house right and you are going to visit the you are going to visit site or house right initially they are going to be take your details that means they are not sure whether you are going to purchase it or not so then so at that time you are the leads and they will capture all your information into leads okay lead lead object only they are going to be capture all your information once you are decided to purchase all your information uh, all uh, to purchase site or house then they are going to be convert into in uh, lead conversion they are going to be convert you into like you know uh, 
as a customer right they will uh, there is a lead conversion automatic process also right as soon as they convert into what will happen uh, account will be created that customer account information will be created automatically by using lead conversion concepts is available on the salesforce this is one interesting topic in salesforce and uh, web to lead right web to lead concept also we have in salesforce web to lead is like a you are browsing into different websites and you are keep seeing some like you know registration form kind of thing right um, fill your first name last name mail id mobile number all the stuff right if you display that in different browsers if you fill all the information and submit it as soon as you submit a form that information will get into the salesforce and will stored into one of the object later on they will try to call you and if you are interested all the stuff again they will try to convert into that process also that is one way and there is one more web to case interesting concept in salesforce web to case is nothing but let's say you are using product uh, instead of calling customer care right uh, there could be one emails also right take that email id and uh, type your email all the information and send it as soon as you send it right that will be created in salesforce case record as soon as case record is created that case number will be generated that number will be received automatically for your mail reply automatic reply so this is also one of the main interesting topic also available in the salesforce by using all these are all are out of the box features only no need to do any customization okay so i Right, I will know in slides. Okay, so uh, I will go, but uh, I am still talking about Salesforce related topic only. Uh, so these are the interesting out of the box features are available in Salesforce. That's what like you know very high demand also. And also I just wanted to pick comparison also with different technologies and Salesforce, right? Let's say if we want to build one Java application, right? So what they are going to do? they have to purchase first servers right because to run that servers everything right uh, they will put a lot of money and try to purchase the server and second thing is they have to purchase the database right to store all the data they have to own purchase own the uh, database and they have to store second thing and third thing is if they wanted to build any reports and dashboard, they have to hire separate team. And fourth point is, if they wanted to build UI, then they have to separately, you know, recruit the UI developers also. And the fifth one is, they wanted to do something backend data, right? Backend uh, store the backend functionalities, right? They have to hire different uh, developers for backend developers, right? These many, these five things. They supposed to be hire and purchase initial setup for Java applications, right? While looking at Salesforce, no need to purchase the servers, no need to purchase the database, no need to hire for reports and dashboard separate developers, no need to hire for separate UI developer, no need to hire for um, what I can say uh, backend developers. Everything can be taken care by one single Salesforce developer itself. It is more friendly, flexible. So that's what very high demand in the Salesforce and user friendly as well and cost saving also to the customer. So that's what every customer, every client is looking for Salesforce, Salesforce, Salesforce. That's what very, very high demand in the market and very high, more opportunities, high paid salaries also in the market. So there are many benefits to customer is getting. So that's what everyone is moving uh, from other technologies to Salesforce itself, right? When I started my career in Salesforce around 2012 and hardly I can see in the Salesforce developers in Hyderabad itself, hardly I can say 50. That is a maximum count I'm saying. Now, if you look at in the, within Hyderabad Salesforce developers are, I can say now even, lacks of developers available in the market but still there are many many positions also is open if anyone is interested to switch salesforce please get in touch with the Gayatri or priya on the call right 
so we will try to help you out right and we are providing some training sessions also on the you know um, uh, under our multi arts and multi tech we are providing salesforce training also if anyone interested to learn this salesforce feel free reach out to gayatri and priya uh, to get in further process or any uh, further assistant assistance also if you need any additional information also for salesforce you wanted to know yeah you always can reach out to me as well right my name is ishwar so if you want anything you can get in touch with me also and further more course details or further details can reach out to gayatri and priya both okay so this what very high level uh, salesforce background and uh, just compared quickly for uh, other applications and salesforce and how it is very demanded in the market and why say customer also is like very much on salesforce right and uh, yeah this is what we spoke about this salesforce and let's move on some different concepts right um so technically this course for you what all we have different environments how basically how basically we have uh, you know configured this salesforce within out of the box and customization after building one application how we are going to be deploy this whatever the develop changes how we are going to be deployed to one arc to another arc so these are the complete overview we are going to be talk about today right uh, let's talk about first different environments right so basically right in salesforce um, if anything right will be developed on the sandbox side right let's say this is the development right development the sandbox under that so based on the business requirement we are going to be built either it could be a out of the box which is then will comes under configuration and if it is the customer requirement is not suits by uh, you know provided by salesforce out of the box features then we have to write you know we have to write the code right so basically for front end right when salesforce was introduced uh, we were building visible force pages like similar to html pages only but here there were different tags later on um, salesforce lightning has been introduced to build very easy and then now it is like you know everyone is moved to lightning web components right um latest applications not being used by visible force pages and now everyone for front end it is used by lightning web components only or lightning components or a components these two will be used for ui purpose for back end right we usually write apex classes it is which is similar to java class only like how we are going to write you know java class similarly we are going to be write apex class to build apex logic right so the developer should know basic knowledge on the oops concept like how we are going to define the class and how we are going to define the constructor and how we are going to define the methods right so this is like whoever has uh, basic knowledge on oops concept can able to write and can able to understand quickly how we are going to write Uh, apex classes and basically we have three collections list set map these three uh, obviously we are going to be used on the apex class as well and test classes this is more interesting topic in salesforce how salesforce should understand whatever the you implement the functionality right whether this is um, this functionality is working or not we are going to be write the code positive and negative scenarios through our code itself whatever we implemented the functionality we can do we can test it by writing test classes okay so these three are the most important uh, to log in any of the sandbox we this is the url test.salesforce.com okay and as soon as we complete our development we wanted to move our changes to the higher environments like staging environment that is called dvt a uh, uh, here right internal testing will be performed and client side people also will be performed for staging environment also we supposed to be use test.salesforce.com and then once we get the sign off from these people we can move these changes to the live environment that is called production here actually business users can able to use that application 
for this url will be login.salesforce.com so these are the different environment we supposed to be follow in in salesforce uh, so far clear any questions so please stop me if you track somewhere if you need anything please uh, ask me i will try to help you out okay what are the oops concepts we should know sir um so like you should know how we are going to define the apex class and how we are going to define the constructor and uh, how we are going to be define the methods in within the oops you should know all this stuff that's it not exact like the very high level also should uh, enough for us but you should know in java how we are going to be define the class and constructor and methods these three are more enough and the uh, collections right in salesforce we basically use list set map okay yes. and also added advantage if you know javascript javascript okay okay sir basic javascript yeah okay. thank you sir yeah okay no worries and configuration let's talk about configurations we have uh, this is this like configuration comes under as at salesforce and this basic setup this is basic setup comes under you know how to create you know apps in the salesforce this salesforce will support multiple apps also we should know how we are going to be create salesforce apps object creation field creation relationships we have look up master detail relationships right we have that how basically we are going to we do that and how we are going to make object to tab what are the standard objects we have we spoke about lead account contact case right there are few other standard objects also available that we can talk about later yeah if you are interested okay so these are the basic setup uh, no need to write any code by using out of the box itself we can able to do this all this configuration okay and administration uh, user creation profile creation role creation permission set public groups queues all the stuff will comes under administration again this is the one click configuration only no need to write any code security process right this is owability organization wide default by using configuration only under security process concepts form laws validation rule workflow rules approval process right and we have flows and then uh, pro uh, process builder right this all comes under advanced concept and as i said right in java application to build reports dashboard they supposed to be hire different developers but in salesforce as a salesforce developer can build reports dashboards and data load activity as well everything can be taken care by as a salesforce developer itself again this is no need to write any code by using standard out of the box feature itself can be able to do it okay so these are the out of the box you know uh, things are available on the salesforce these are the topics can be covered and customization as i said uh, this is completely code code based uh, okay and uh, first we have to see this logic controllers and we have sql sosl like uh, we have like sql right similarly in salesforce we used to call sql salesforce object query language and sosl salesforce object search language if you wanted to do something search right that functionality we can use sosl to fetch the data by using query we can write as okl and dml statements insert update delete and delete this are will comes under dml statement collection right as i said list set map this will come to the collections and we have triggers like um, triggers will fire if you do any dml operation then triggers will fire basically we have um, uh two types of trigger before triggers and after triggers 
and we have a trigger context variables also right so these three concepts will come under apex triggers and we have batch apex and schedule apex if you wanted to do schedule like for example we wanted to perform schedule apex in batch we can do this start execute these three scheduled apex by uh, we have some method cron method based on that we can schedule it visual for space i said right to build ui uh, nowadays we are not doing being used this and we are using lwc concept lightning web component so for that we can use all the stuff can be used that is not even included here because altogether that is a new technology new things coming up we are handling separately for that training Okay. and uh, so deployment this is most important topic so we basically deploy this um, one as soon as we complete our deploy development we wanted to push our changes to higher environments right so for this deployment uh, we have like you know by using change sets we can try to deploy one or two other right this is salesforce provided tool only and we have other tools like the jenkins like uh, you are keep hearing outside devops right so similarly uh, this is also one of the tool right and we can use different tools like jenkins github gitlab and copilot tools all these are supported for salesforce to do uh, migrate components one or two another arc okay so this way we can try to deploy the components one or two another arc and uh, so i can share some links if you are interested who are interested to learn and we have a lot of materials also is available trial heads i can say in the google you can do self learning also if you are interested to learn salesforce right uh, to get a better opportunity and good high paid salaries right better try to switch salesforce and uh, uh, gain your better growth that's what i can say i can share the links also if you want right um, let me do it so you can try to search with in google trial head right so if you want to make uh, you know you want to make admin career dev career all the stuff right you can try to refer this i can share this link you can try to register and if you want to get something um access right salesforce access developer.salesforce.com you can create you can register you will get it one your so this is this link is for trial head and uh, if you wanted to sign up your developer salesforce org details you can use this you can fill your first name last name your email id your role all the stuff right and if you try to sign me up you will you will receive a email to set your new password and you try to log in your salesforce Hope you are copying these URLs. Okay. 
now let me know if you have any questions regarding the salesforce topics or any other question right you can ask me i uh, can i will try to able to answer any questions anyone how many days or months it will take to learn the complete course sir yeah we usually provide this you know two months course actually um, so one month for admin one month for development one hour per day right um, so monday to saturday